Welcome to another edition of Expert Talks by Calkine TV. I'm Sage. Great to be with you today. And we have a special guest, Jeremy Lamb, who will be joining us. He's the founder and CEO of Venu. For some background, Venu or Venue is a virtual events platform through which organizations can host their next conference in the metaverse. Sounds all very exciting to me. And here to tell us more and how to pronounce the name of the business is Jeremy <laughs> Lamb, the founder and CEO of Venu. Welcome to the show, Jeremy. Hi, thank you, Sage. Uh, yeah, lovely meeting you. And yeah, you uh, explained uh, our business uh, exactly right. We're Venue and we create metaverse conference experiences to solve business problems. Wow, great to have you with us. Sounds like it's cutting edge technology being applied and finding use cases. So great to have you with us to share your inspiration behind the platform and what you actually do at Venue. So as a platform, um, it's significant in today's work culture. Can you tell us about how today's work culture will actually help to bolster your platform? Absolutely. And we actually came up with the uh, idea for Venue in 2019, you know, even before uh, all of work really became remote and people started looking for remote options. Um, it was back when we were trying to uh, host more conferences to get more sales for our uh, VR virtual reality gaming business. And we we're like, how do we host, you know, a conference every month? It takes six to 12 months to organize a conference, get people to book plane tickets and hotels and uh, spend a whole week traveling internationally to, you know, spending a time away from uh, work and, and family, uh, what if uh, it was as simple as a click of a link uh, on your calendar invite and you could join a conference and uh, really feel like you're uh, uh, just like in a conference, get to walk around, uh, freely explore uh, and, and bump into people, have those ser uh, serendipitous encounters and spontaneous conversations, um, meet the people you didn't expect to meet. And uh, for us and, and for uh, businesses, uh, that's how, that's how uh, businesses make sales and make connections at these conferences. That's really exciting to me. Thank you, Jeremy. And many would think that conducting meetings in the metaverse has challenges. Um, could you explain what these challenges may be and what your thoughts on this idea are? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, uh, you know, to tag along your last question, uh, a lot of the challenges have actually been overcome uh, since everybody had been forced to experience uh, remote work and uh, you know hold meetings uh, online instead of in person. Um, the biggest challenge was uh, just people don't know what a virtual event is or a virtual meeting is. Uh, but now people know. So that's that's really the, the biggest challenge has been overcome already. Um, and we find uh, we're hosting uh, tech conferences. You know, of course, tech savvy people uh, you know, use it no problem. But even doctors, uh, folks over uh, 65 years of age. Um, and just uh, normal consumers or uh, people working uh, social causes and, and, and climate activists, uh, a wide variety of people. And that's because our team has been working really hard. Uh, we're in the business of doing conferences. We know people come from a lot of different backgrounds and uh, different computers. So our, um, our experience uh, venue works on your Windows laptop, your MacBook, uh, or VR, virtual reality, if you have it. Uh, so you could you fully utilize your body language um, and, and, and as well. Yeah. That is amazing because I mean our imaginations is really what's creating our reality in many ways and I think the metaverse allows us to explore that and see what our minds can really come up with in the real world and we're seeing that concerts yeah. and events are doing really well as well. So what kind of different events can your platforms be used for? Absolutely and, and you actually brought up a, a few really great you know, events and there seems to be a really good platform uh, serving metaverse platform serving each of these events There's really good concert uh, experiences um, ours, we focus on business conferences. So if you've ever been to uh, an expo or a convention where uh, primarily there's a lot of exhibitors there uh, trying to sell their products, uh, we help uh, our customers and people who come sell their products, make customers you know, uh, at the event. Um, our speakers promote their uh, launch or an announcement or uh, you know, any sort of program that they have. Um, so we, that, that's sort of our uh, niche focus and that's uh, what we're good at. And you know, part of the thing that allows us to do that is because we can fit uh, a thousand people in the same room. Uh, uh, we have expo booths designed uh, to optimize traffic, uh, people going to network with the exhibitors. Um, and on top of that, we have our service of, of uh, virtual event experts, conference experts. Uh, we know how uh, you should design your schedule. We even help uh, work with a hands-on, uh, you know, step-by-step uh, -step, 
uh, oh, you're trying to host this event to acquire you know, 50 customers in six weeks, we'll help you do that. Here's who you got to invite, and we'll invite these people for you. We'll design the event this way. Um, we'll invite people to come speak. Um, as a lot of businesses know, it's really hard to go and just send a cold email out and say, hey, do you want to demo our product? Do you want to you know, interest in buying our product? But it's a lot smoother uh, when you're inviting them to come to this whole big conference with all these other potential customers of theirs and, and to come speak and promote their, their product. And in doing so, you can network and, and develop that working relationship with them, essentially be, you know, have them become your customer. Exactly. I mean, we saw how small the world became with the internet. I think with the metaverse, it's just going to really um, exacerbate that reach that the internet can provide and people can interact with each other. It's a very exciting space that you're in. So please Absolutely. tell us more. How can one engage yeah, meeting attendees on Venue? Sorry? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you were talking about our, our imaginations earlier, and one of the great things about uh, you know, Venue, in addition to not having to pay rent and physically set up space, is we can fully customize the metaverse for you. Um, if you, know, you want to be set in outer space, if you want to be in a you know, uh, convention center, standard uh, convention center, um, you know, whatever your theme is, we can, uh, you know, put you, <laughs> whatever your imagination is, we can create that for you. And in addition to that, the business value, one, it's interesting. Uh, people can freely walk around and explore, unlike on a maybe 2D screen, a 2D, you know, uh, a conference call, right, that they can't really freely walk around and talk to people. Um, but it's exciting. It, it gets people to click and, and come to your event and, and know your brand. Um, and, and the best part is we have 3D audio and you can freely walk around in three dimensions in the metaverse, just like you would in real life. Um, so you can really feel, oh, this person's talking on my left, this person's on my right. I can direct my focus, I can point myself towards them, look at them um, and show them, oh, I want to jump in on that next question or, or, or pitch my product now. So really all those little communication skills and, and uh, things that we develop to help us make sales and do business, but also just socialize as human beings, we can bring that into the metaverse uh, with Venue. So we designed it very specifically to allow us to do that. That's fantastic. And I can hear the passion for your project as you describe to us and explain what you do. So thank you so much. And I think what's really also exciting is that how our boundaries and barriers are sometimes limiting to us in the real world, but in the metaverse, we can defy gravity, we can fly around. And as you said, we, you, with your platform, there's 3D spatial movement as well as audio. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yep. So what are the advantages available for organizations when it comes to the metaverse so far and in the future? Yeah, so I like to think of uh, metaverse conferences and venue in particular as, as just being better and different. Better in that uh, you don't have to worry about renting a space. We've, you know, so the, our background, the reason why we're able to develop this platform is we've been hosting conferences uh, in the San Francisco Bay Area, that's where we're based, uh, for six years. Uh, we've gone through the process and pains of renting a physical space, setting it up physically, the labor, the uh, AV, audio, video equipment, um, and getting everybody to fly in. You know, the make or break of your event is who you can get in there to network. That's the value, is the people you get in. But the harder it is for them to fly in or, or the schedule or uh, hotels and, and time, the harder that is, the, the more you lose in, in your event in terms of the people who can come. But with a single click of a link, in venue, uh, anybody in the world can come. We've had uh, amazing keynote speakers. Uh, we, we held a, a COVID trade show uh, back when you know, at the peak of COVID. Uh, we had connected doctors from all around the world to come speak and, and provide their research and their studies and uh, medical companies with all their you know, uh, cutting edge products to uh, help with COVID. We had Dr. Sanjay Gupta, chief medical correspondent of CNN, come give our keynote. We had Dr. Celine Gounder from the US White House COVID Task Force uh, come speak. Um, and this was one of our customers' events from Young President's Organization. So, you know, I mean, I mean, it was very obvious then, you know, it was during the height of COVID, people weren't able to travel anyways, but um, to get, you know, that level, that uh, level and quality of, of speakers and, and people are drawing people to, to come to a conference. And, Add value. Um, I think I think that's one of the one of the biggest things. Uh, and, and on top of that, uh, we we design venues specifically. It's, it's by and for conference organizers. Every little thing like your name tag and getting to at a glance see who's in what companies are in the room and who you can go and network with. Uh, to uh, being able to demo in 3D in in, in your exhibitor booth um, and and be able to easily submit content for that. So. Um, yeah, all, all of that is, is really designed to basically help you make sales, solve your business problems. 
That's fantastic. I think travel in the metaverse as well sounds really appealing and it sounds like your platform would also benefit from all the well-being seminars that are happening in many of the hotels around the world these days. Such an interesting discussion we're having with you today. As we wind up, what are your objectives for Venue for the rest of 2022? Yeah, it's interesting because um, our, it changes all the time. But most recently, we're, we're, all, we're a team of problem solvers uh, at the very core of it. And most recently, we've been researching and studying uh, the economy, uh, the state of our, econ our global economy today, uh, what we're all experiencing right now. Um, you know, for us, we, we especially look at uh, the, the U.S. because we're based here. But, um, and trying to understand what this means for our business partners, our customers, people who are coming to the events, um, we're always in the business of how can we help you make sales? How can we help you hire the right people? How can we connect the right people together so they can partner and create this new solution to solve this, this new problem that came up? So as we're looking into this you know, potential, uh, what's happening to our economy right now, we're thinking you know, over the next 12 to six months, how can we look at each industry, understand what the problems are, survey them, interview the folks working there, and go, oh, these are the people, maybe if we bring them together, they can do something about this. Um, and especially we work with a lot of startups. Startups are uh, a huge key in solving new problems um, because they're, they're small, they're scrappy, they try new things really quickly, and, uh, and, and, and they're willing to take big risks. So oftentimes it's when these new problems come, come up, these small startups go, wait, actually, I think we can do something about that. So we, 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 wanna, we gather people together, people make things happen. Uh, people solve problems. So, so that's what we want to do. Yeah. I, I love the solutions focused uh, ethic and premise behind the tech startups. I think it's so great. And it's wonderful that you've been able to sustain your business for six, seven years. Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. We started off as virtual reality game developers, made no money. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. No, but we were very passionate about it. our whole team. Uh, yeah. We, we love what we're doing. It sounds great. I mean, the, you've been in the space for that long. I mean, sometimes people are still saying it's a little bit early for the metaverse now. Maybe, you know, the war is slowing things down a little bit, the war in Ukraine and Russia, unfortunately. But who knows, timing's everything in the game. And I think as long as you're working towards your goals, something will always happen. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable insights. Was there any closing points you'd like to share with the viewers? Yeah, um, I think if there's anybody who may own a business or know a business, um, who is maybe tackling some problems. Um, and you think, oh, maybe we can solve this by getting people together, whether it's your customers or your partners uh, or your job candidates. Um, yeah, come, come chat with us. Come to our upcoming event uh, that's happening in two weeks. Uh, we have a B2B sales conference happening in the metaverse. It's free, anybody can come. Um, I'm Jeremy at Venue3D.com. Our website is Venue3D.com. You can, we just actually just launched uh, Venue publicly uh, to demo. So you could literally go to a website demo it right now, try it out right now for yourself. Um, you have to experience it to believe it. Um, that's, that's the metaverse, so. Yeah. Jeremy, sold, I'm there. <laughs> See you in the metaverse. <laughs> thank you, Sage. See you in the metaverse. <laughs> See you soon. So thank you, that was Jeremy Lamb. He is the CEO and founder at Venue. What an exciting guest. And please keep watching for more of these live expert talks. You can catch that recording at Calkine Media's YouTube channel. Till the next episode, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine Media.